Don't miss the two verses at the end of Ephesians 1. That's a chapter we read today in Bible in one year because these two verses are packed with some beautiful theology of Christ and the church. So we read that God put all things under Christ's feet and gave him his head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. First of all, we have here an echo of Old Testament passages like Psalm 8 and Psalm 110, which describe all things under the feet of the Messiah. He reigns supreme. And he's head over all things for the church. His rule, his authority, his ascension to the right hand of the Father is for the benefit of his people, the church, the body of believers. And we, his body, are the fullness of him who fills all in all. The church is filled with the fullness of Christ, the one who fills heaven and earth, graciously and lovingly fills his body, his people, the church, in order that what belongs to Christ belongs also to us. So that just as a husband and wife become one flesh in marriage, so Christ and his bride are head and body connected to each other so that we receive the fullness of grace, the fullness of presence, the fullness of life and hope in Jesus our Lord.